story time will be done by Dennis today. I forgot I was supposed to be his second man if he plugs that in. <laughs> yeah, just, just in case. Flood, the flood with Noah, there was a time when 
you know, right at first, you know, people were following Jesus, but then they all became evil. And so what they wanted, they filled that hole with violence and evil things to the point where it got so bad that they had to, well, Jesus had to create a flood and just have a few survivors and kind of do a, a do-over, you might say. And it, it went that way, and then Jesus came, and he lived here, and he died, and he's still trying to attract us. And then he would, but before he died, he met somebody. He met, uh, he was at a well, and he was thirsty, and a lady came up, and it was, a, it was the Samaritan woman. And they talked, and they talked together, and he mentioned something about living water. And he goes, oh, you'll never thirst again. Well, that's that hole he was saying. You film. So what I did is you can see it. What's it say? Living water. And so I went and I got some living water. Oh, you know what? You must. It doesn't work that way. And we're still plugged in. We're still plugged in. Hopefully this tension works good. Uh, so just put in some living water. You have it turned off, right? Down? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Put in some living water. Oh, that looks good. In fact, it should be drinkable. Like, hold it up here. So, we have living water. Okay, we got, we have our power in, our power out. And let's see what happens when you put living water in there. Nothing. <laughs> Didn't work at all. Must be something else we need. You've got living water. Oh, wait a minute. When you're holding a light bulb up, you're doing something for someone else. The living water is for you, but if you want to hold a light bulb up and light the way, you need the Holy Spirit. Don't you? The Holy Spirit needs to tell you that that we need that. You know what, I forgot my stir stick. So we'll just kind of sprinkle this in here and see if that helps anyone. Let's just take that off. Dump a little bit of it. Okay, now we're turned off. It still isn't working. So what do we have to do? I need to find a stir stick. I need oh, don't use that. That's metal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, that's right. Hey, how about a regular pen? This one will soak up. Do you have one right behind it in the view there? No, it's empty. Oh, okay. Okay, here, this. Oh, look it. Look it. We're, we're, we're lighting up. I haven't even stirred it yet. So the Holy Spirit wants, be, wants us to work with Him and to use the living water that Jesus gives us. And then, with the Holy Spirit's help, we can actually get yeah, that work better. Because I don't want to, that thing will probably ink out if we get going too much. So, so if you do a little bit of something for Jesus, look, it just keeps going and going. That just, that, you know what, we'll, we'll spice it up. Because God wants us to be savory, right? He says, you know, if the salt loses its savor, it's good for nothing. So even though when we first put it in there, it was really not good for anything, but you work with the Holy Spirit and you work with God. Uh oh, we and uh, get the mic working again. Okay, we work with the Holy Spirit, work with God. We just get brighter and brighter and brighter, and then we will be able to do what, exactly what God wants us to be and be what He wants to be. And we will be a bright light leading others to Jesus. But you know what? He also tells us that when we're there, don't put a basket over you. In other words, don't limit yourself to just what we think we can do. But you do what God wants us to do. And that's to be a light to those around us. And it continues to get brighter. 
I don't know what to do with it now. No. <laughs> Should we bow our heads? Dear Jesus, we all want to be a light shining you to the people around us. We want to fulfill your ambitions for us, and we want to be with and be ready for you when you come. Please be with us, strengthen us, and help us to know what we're supposed to do and to do it. Give us the strength to do it and recognize it. For Jesus' sake, amen. amen.